Hey, lifers. How you doing this week? Hope you're doing great. Are you enjoying the series and the Psalms? I sure am. You know, I've never really in all my career devoted an entire series just for the songs found in the Old Testament. And uh, I'm loving it. I'm loving digging into them and studying them. Hopefully you're getting a lot out of that too. Hey, one thing uh, that you can do to go deeper in these Psalms is to get into a group in common. That every week there are just loads of small groups that are functioning uh, that you can join to meet people, to um, connect with folks. And I know we need connection right now, especially if you're feeling isolated, feeling a little bit lonely, and you're wondering, you know, when you're going to be able to connect. Listen, connect. It's as easy as your decision. Connect. Go on the website, and the, uh, the Group in Common directory is there. And uh, there's loads of small groups. My small group meets on Tuesday night, and we have an awesome time together. Uh, I have a men's group that I'm with on Friday mornings. And again, just an incredible time talking with those guys and uh, you know, getting each other's thoughts and challenging each other. And Man, I come away with something new uh, every time I'm with those groups. Uh, they're so good. So definitely get into a group in common so that you can grow and that you can uh, just get closer with the body of Christ. It's so, so important. But anyway, this coming Sunday... Uh, I'm teaching uh, uh, from the most popular and likely the most beloved psalm in the scripture. Might even be uh, one of the most beloved passages in the entire Bible. And that's Psalm 23. If you, don't, if you don't know it, you probably have a little bit of an idea of Psalm 23. Let me just read it to you. It says, The Lord is my shepherd. I shall lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. My cup overflows. Or you anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. That's awesome stuff. When our kids were little, we had to memorize this. I don't know if you, they still have it memorized. You have to pick on Audrey and see if she still got it. Probably not. Um, I even messed it up when I read it. But it's one to commit to memory. This Sunday, we're gonna dig into Psalm 23. And why is Psalm 23 so important in these times? Because if there's ever a time when we need our shepherd to lead us through quiet waters, green pastures, and even lead us through the valley of the shadow of death. It's right now. We know times are crazy as we approach the election. They're getting crazier. Every single week, something more crazy happens than the week before, every week. And it's not gonna end. Even after the election, it'll be the same. It's such a tumultuous time. We need contact with our good shepherd and I'm not going to talk a lot about the passage because you got to show up on Sunday to uh, to get all that but uh, don't miss this week bring friends okay, bring somebody along with you let them enjoy it with you you know on a on a zoom Sunday morning it's one of the best ways to bring people because they're not trapped inside a sanctuary and they can watch it from home and if for some reason something happens or they're uh, you know just not feeling it you know, they can always click it off and come back later. Um, it, it's just such an easy time to invite people to watch uh, one of these services on, on live stream. So invite friends, get involved in a group in common if you're not already, and uh, tune in on Sunday, Psalm 23, all right? Oh, almost forgot, one more thing. Uh, the patio at 10 o'clock on Sunday morning, bring your lounge chair, bring your mask, uh, and we can enjoy service together. Uh, well, I'll be inside, you'll have to be outside. Uh, but you can watch the service with other lifers out on the patio. We have a 60 person limit and you can watch it. You can listen to the worship and sing along. We People have been wandering around the grass with tons of social distance and uh, just worshiping God as they hear the music play from inside. And uh, it's not perfect, of course, but it's a great alternative um, still. There's no ministry to kids, so if your kids come with you, they, you got to keep them with you. Um, 
but it's uh, it's just really nice to see people and to enjoy some time together. So if you want to come and enjoy that, 10 o'clock out on the patio, bring your chair, bring your mask, and enjoy some fellowship and worship. All right? We'll see you Sunday. Get into Psalm 23.